<coughs> Hello. Good morning. We're gonna let this sit for a minute. We'll give people a few extra seconds to try to figure out how to get onto Daily Dose. Oh. Fantastic. I was going to say anniversary. That would be quite an anniversary. We look good for it. <laughs> it's like a Queen Elizabeth, <laughs> Prince Philip kind of anniversary. A hundred episodes, Dr. Mary. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Mm. Not us. So I made us a pie. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two. Can't beat a little celebratory apple pie. Fantastic. Um, oh, and we have to do this, and then I'll dish up. We buy Christmas crackers every year. They're um, super English, and then we forget to use them, so we have extras. Ah! Oh, oh, you get to wear the hat. Oh, I'm not going to. Okay. Do ruin, you want to? No, it'll ruin your boo on. <laughs> That's stuff. true. We didn't get a hat. No hat. Maybe it flew out. What is this? I don't know. I have to look at it later. Okay, let me dish up some pie while we're talking. Very 70s, whatever it is. It sure is. You should like it. Yeah. Uh, so, 100 episodes. I am... Um, no hat. It's, oh. oh, you got the hat. No, got that the means hat. you have to wear it. I am so pleased to be celebrating this and to be enjoying this with our audience. I don't think, we certainly didn't have a plan when we started, Dr. Mary, did we? We did not. Well, you know what? That's not uh, strictly speaking true. The plan was just to keep it focused and to, here, have a piece of pie, oh, there's a fork. And to, thanks, um, keep it focused and keep it brief. Because what we realized in going back to look at some of the earlier live streams we had done mm. was that I can get off topic pretty quickly and pretty effortlessly. I can't at all. <laughs> And so that's been really the, the crux of it has been how do we stay focused and how do we keep it within 15 minutes except for our guest ones which we l let go longer because they are so interesting and I think so important both to our learning and to other people's. We're having some operational difficulties. We probably should have just brought the camera upstairs and sat at the table. Anyway, here we are. This is why people say you shouldn't eat on camera. But I like to defy that because I love to eat on camera. I just like to eat, period. Oh. Told you it was good. That's pretty good. Mmm, nice. Um, so to celebrate, um, we launched a brand new logo. Thank you, thank you, Jeff Knight. Mm -hmm. We love the logo. Did you see in the handles of the cups, the little D's for Daily Dose. I love that so much. We went through the first round and it wasn't quite right as first round drafts of ideas often aren't. And I showed it to Quinn because I was showing the drafts to Quinn because Quinn has an exceptional eye. And he agreed it wasn't quite right, but we didn't quite know what was wrong. So this is when you want to work with a designer as good as Jeff Knight. I wrote back to Jeff and I just said, it's not quite right, Jeff, and I can't tell you what's missing, but it's not quite right. And he came back with those little D mugs. And, you know, you wouldn't think that would have taken a lot of people to come up with that. Mug handles are little Ds, but it was just ingenious. So... I'm thrilled. We're thrilled about it, aren't we? <clears throat> we are. And so appreciative of Jeff for doing that work for us. He did my extraordinary logo. Jeff's my go-to designer. So thank you, thank you, Jeff. Thank you very much. Um, but if you comment on this live stream, either on Daily Dose or Extraordinary or on my 
personal page or on Dr. Mary's when he shares it later. Comment today and we will send you a fun little present next week. They're not in yet, so we can't do it today. But we should have them by Tuesday and we will get them off in the mail to you. If you comment, we'll reach out to you privately to get your mailing address. And first, then you can join us. The first two people get a bit of pie as well. <laughs> I'm not sending pie, really sorry. I'll send you the recipe, but I'm not sending pie. I might eat it, actually. Yeah, and it would be crushed. Dr. Mary, again with the tripod. I know you think you don't move it, but you definitely move the tripod. Do you want to show them your picture? No, I don't know the tripod's out of work. Stop it. Pull up your picture, Dr. Mary. I want to show you this. Um, yesterday, of course, in case you've been, well, everyone knows yesterday was Thanksgiving. Well, everyone in America. Well, everyone knows it's Thanksgiving. Most oh. people just call it Thursday. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this individual was born um, 1895, yesterday. November the 26th, 1895, yesterday. So it would have been his 125th birthday. Good math. Math. So early in the morning. This guy, Bill Wilson. A lot of people know him as Bill W. He and Dr. Bob Smith or Dr. Bob, um, started AA. So, um... In what year? Like 1931? Yeah. I think part of the story was Bill w Wilson tracked the doctor down, and the doctor said to him, I can't cure your, your problem. And he said, and Bill said to the doctor, I want to help cure yours. And that's where it all started. Wow. And he said a quote here, which I think is fantastic, especially considering the world we're living at the minute and it being thanksgiving and it's the holiday season there are is it seven religious holidays this season there's a ton which a is ton, why we ton. should actually say happy uh, holidays happy holidays and here's what bill wilson famously said to the world you may be one person but to one person you may be the world mm. so i just wanted to share that with you today while we're eating pie <laughs> it's uh it's something to be yeah it's well i'm of course i'm very grateful that he um came about as am and i and started this this uh this global organization yeah to to help so many people he couldn't have imagined the impact he no. would leave on the world wow one person but to so many people he has created an absolute second chance at life, or third, ninth, 27th, 300th chance at life. I mean, it's not, <clears throat> and I, you know, people have always said it's not perfect. No, it isn't. It doesn't work for everyone, but it works for a large majority of people. Mm -hmm. It's not very scientific, but it works. Hmm. And some things, you know, as a scientist, sometimes you've just got to say, yeah, but it works. Absolutely. <clears throat> Christina Johnson, if you're watching this, your apples make really good yes, pie. Yes, they do. Wow. I think I, pie should be the new breakfast for everyone, quite frankly. I mean, it's basically a pancake. And because I made the ice cream, it's basically like I'm having a cup of milk with a pancake. Well, it's, it's a thin pie, so we could call it a crepe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, so, in addition to celebrating our 100th episode. Thanks to those of you who are writing, Michael and Bonnie, mother, uh, about the logo. We love it too. Um, it's Challenge Friday. So we have two challenges for you today. One is to like the new Facebook page, the new Daily Dose Facebook page, please, because this is where we're going to move everything over to. It's time for Daily Dose to stand on its own and not be confused under my extraordinary extraordinary stuff so like the page if you're interested in sharing the content share it from this page please that would be incredible we really want to see this grow um and two is a challenge for shifting your thinking so i want to read you two paragraphs this is from jen sincero i talk about her a lot she wrote the book you are a badass and then she wrote you're a badass at making money and i think she's written a number of other books I don't like this one as well as I like the first one, but I love these two um, paragraphs. When you're on a plane and you take off on a drizzling, dark, depressing day, you look out the window at the gray sky, the sad little houses below getting misted with rain, 
then you head right into the dark clouds themselves. It's black and bumpy and scary. And then, ta-da, all of a sudden, you pop out on top of it all into blue sky, fluffy clouds, and sunshine. The sunshine and fluffy clouds were there all along. You just couldn't see them from your perspective. I don't care how insane or hopeless your situation appears to you right now, because it's not the truth. It's just what you're experiencing at the moment. There's an entirely different and sunny reality out there waiting for you. All you have to do is make the decision to blast through your own storm clouds of fear, doubt, and worry. Stay in grateful expectation with unshakable faith that the sun is there even though you can't see it yet and stay the course through the turbulence until you reach the other side. I love that so much mm. because first of all, how many times have you been on a plane exactly like that, leaving in gray, overcast skies, and you shoot through all of that, and you are reminded that just because your view was gray and overcast doesn't mean that it's the mm. entire overlay of the world. The entire overlay of the world is always blue, always sunshiny, always puffy ma marshmallow mashed potato clouds. Always. Your perspective is what can't see that. Your moment in time. But if you can just hold on, if you can just stay the course, you too can get past the gray and back to the blue. And I love that. Hmm. Don't you think that's true? I do. And it really speaks to Alex's point yesterday, and let's not forget to thank Alex Rydell for joining us. Yes, Alex, that was spectacular. Great, great thank conversation, you. and then beautiful violin music on top of that. Um, but Alex's point yesterday that he's 11 years sober, one day at a time. Mm -hmm. One day at a time. One gray day, which leads to blue, which maybe goes back to gray, which leads to blue. It's that constant um, striving to get out of the storm and into the calm. And we all can only do that one day or one step at a time. Do you have anything you want to add to that, Dr. Mary? No. <laughs> okay. I was going to mention there is a song about this that I heard when I was really young that would actually... Um... Is it a Karen Carpenter song? No, it's called Grey Day. It's actually by a group called Madness. Oh. So... <laughs> Dana not is not a huge favorite. fan of madness. But in America, we know madness for our house in the middle of our street, which I love. An entire album of madness is madness. But they wrote a song that was actually dealing with depression. It was called Grey Days, so it's actually quite poignant. You should YouTube it. We'll, we'll YouTube it for you and post it on yes. this page, and then you can understand the sadness that it, I often have when we have to listen to an entire madness album. It's it's kind of um, it's happy scar music, but Dana says it's like being stuck on a carousel. It's truly crazy town music. So, I think I'm going to have a second piece of pie. Are you going to join me? I, I might have to, so you don't feel guilty. Right, I'm that kind of hunter. Because you're that kind of giver. Well, I he am. gives and gives and gives. <laughs> Thanks to everybody who has been following us from episode one or anywhere in between. Um, we have. Good stuff coming up. So I guess we're just going to keep on going. And um, yeah, we're excited. So like the page, sign up for the newsletter, continue to send us um, thoughts and notes and questions. If you're somebody who wants to come on and join us for Guest Thursday, we've had an absolute complete stranger reach out to us okay. who has seen our content and wants to join us. I'm really thrilled with that. So reach out to us and comment today on any of the places that you see this conversation and we'll get your address and next week we'll send you something fun to celebrate our 100th episode. Thanks so much. Continue to be safe. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have we'll a see great you Monday. weekend. Bye. See you Monday.